For more on this, we're going to cross now to our correspondent in London, Benedict Pavio. Good morning then, Benedict. So what do you think we can expect for this first state visit for King Charles? Well, a state visit already is a rare privilege since there are only two uh, per year. So this is, as you said, the first ever state visit that King Charles uh, gets to host, and he will be hosting the South African president, Cyril Ramaphosa. And so, of course, you can expect a great ceremonial today, a great ceremonial welcome. First, uh, Kate and William, the Prince and Princess of Wales, will go and greet uh, Cyril Ramaphosa at his hotel. They will bring him down the mall to Horse Guards Parade, where King Charles will be there, and then in a carriage, uh, and I think the weather's going to cooperate, uh, thank goodness, although, of course, we're in winter here. Uh, King Charles and Sir Ramaphosa, who is, um, alas, not accompanied by his wife since she cannot fly at the moment, having had an operation on her eyes, uh, they will come up to Buckingham Palace. They will have a private lunch and the South African president uh, will be treated to a banquet uh, this evening. There'll be a political aspect to it tomorrow when uh, the South African president will go to Downing Street and meet the new prime minister, Rishi Sunak. Benedict, so this is a, a largely ceremonial visit, but there is also a non-negligible political component to it, isn't there? There is indeed, and uh, it is important to note the trade links um, and others uh, between the United Kingdom uh, and South Africa. So we are told by Downing Street uh, that the UK-South Africa Infrastructure Partnership is going to be launched uh, today, and that will be supporting South Africa's economic growth, growth uh, which, of course, uh, the world is talking about in these very challenging times. And that will be done through, we're told, major infrastructure developments and offering increased access to UK companies to projects worth to over £5 billion over the next three years. Uh, and we're told that the British government will today confirm new grant-funded technical assistance to South Africa to help restore uh, and unlock Greek hydrogen opportunities and boost skills in this key sector. So, of course, important um, talks there uh, about growth, about economic uh, partnership. Uh, and we will see after the ceremonial, there will also be uh, a rare privilege, uh, and that is accorded during state visits, where the South African president will address uh, the joint houses of uh, the House of Commons and the House of Lords and will make a speech there. So that will be very interesting. And of course, it'll be interesting to see this evening at the palace, Buckingham Palace, uh, when there is a short speech also from the South African president and response by King Charles. Benedict Pavio, we will be keeping an eye on that then. In the meantime, thank you very much for that information.